Checklists are incredible ways to set our users up for success be it a brand new user that needs to see the tasks that they need to accomplish to get set up, or maybe a user that's been with us for a while but needs to learn how to use a new tool. Or perhaps they're transitioning into a new role and you wanna outline the additional processes that this new role requires of them. There are so many interesting ways to set up and use a checklist. And over the next couple of videos, I'm gonna show you all of that. But for now, I'd like to give you a quick introduction to the checklists uh, tab and the different aspects of this interface so that you navigate with confidence as you get to know how to use checklists. The first thing that I wanna show you is this new and improved dashboard. The first thing that you'll notice is that we've added a lot more analytics, which is why I will have an entire video all about the analytics. So look out for that if that's what you're looking for. But just to give you an overview here, you'll see um, how your performance, how your checklists are performing over time. You can segment out this information and you can actually see all of the checklists that you have live and how they're performing directly here in the dashboard. From here, you can click into a checklist and see how they're performing task by task. And like I said, I'm to go all the way into the analytics in another video but this is also where if you want to edit an existing checklist you'll click one of these or if you want to set up a brand new checklist you can actually do that directly here so let's go into an already existing checklist and show you what's new there as well if this is your first time checking out the checklists, um, I'm really excited to have you here. There are so many great ways to use them and hopefully uh, this quick introduction gets you excited to see what else is out there. In the other videos, I'm gonna show you how to completely set up a checklist from start to finish, including all of the different types of tasks that you can use and also how to target those checklists. The targeting is really similar to the way that we target um, our flows and our native tooltips, but I'll include that in the uh, actual setup checklist video. And like I said, I'm also going to have an entire video on digging into our analytics because there is a lot of improvement that we've set out for you here. So really quickly, once we've jumped into an actual checklist, you can rename it, of course, and now you can see the actual analytics um, and like baseline overview here. And you can see your task by task breakdown. And this is a very boring checklist because it's just been in draft, but should you ever click into one of these tasks, you can actually see who has interacted with it, the users that have clicked it and the users that have completed it. When we go into the checklist setup, you will see that sometimes a task can be completed even if they don't interact with it in the checklist. And that's where you'll see that differentiation. We'll go into that in analytics as well. And from here, you actually can pop in to either publish if you're publishing for the first time. If you're publishing changes, you'll notice that as well. And you can edit it directly from here. And the editing process is really similar to uh, how we're setting up our resource center. And also, of course, the configuration, like I said, is just like the way that we've set up our uh, flows and spotlights. So this is a quick overview. One of the one last things that I'd like to point out in this introduction video is that we have completely updated the uh, customization of your widget and uh, your beacon giving you a lot more flexibility in the way that you present this checklist to your customers we really wanted to ensure that you are able to make this feel as native as possible so now you can completely update your colors your fonts um, you can modify your close buttons if you want it there or not um, you can also of course modify if you want it to open by default and here you'll see that preview directly in the application so i hope this helped to get you uh, interested and as, serve as a quick overview. Like I said, we're going to dig in to um, actual setup and analytics, but as time goes on, I'll probably also be posting some videos on how to creatively use checklists because they are so varied. There's tons of great ways to use checklists. So I hope you enjoy this video and you check out some of the other ways that we're going to set these up and dig into the information that they provide. Happy building!